Well, and we have one more Tucker piece of news here that just came out yesterday as well. Big news. Yeah. 41,000 hours of January 6th footage was provided to Tucker Carlson by Kevin McCarthy. Uh, Democrats like Jamie Raskin are beside themselves with this. They said it's sort of outrageous that Kevin McCarthy would turn over all of this footage to a, quote, pro-Putin journalist, <laughs> is what Jamie Raskin <laughs> said. Uh, I think it's incredibly uh, absurd, yeah, to call Tucker Carlson pro-Putin. Um, but 41,000 hours of January 6th footage uh, going to Tucker from Kevin McCarthy. We don't know what's going to happen to it yet. I am curious. I think uh, the government has been a little bit ridiculous with the January 6th footage because they want to uh, promote a very particular narrative. And uh, there's there are important facts to get right about January 6th. There are some big facts that people, especially conspiratorial people, get wrong about January 6th. Uh, but honestly, the more transparency, the better. Um, and I know I understand why people uh, don't trust an opinion host to uh, be the best steward of that footage. Right. So I get yes. it. I'm so curious. Yeah, uh, listen, the answer to a lack of transparency or a one-sided narrative isn't to hand the footage over to another person who's going to spin a one-sided narrative. No, I agree. If you're interested in transparency, put the whole footage out. Give it to WikiLeaks. I mean, absolutely. put it all out there and yeah. let citizen journalists or, you know, official journalists, whoever, sift through it and pull out parts that are new or different or relevant and... Do that rather than, all right, they had their partisan turn at this. We're going to have our partisan turn at it that only one side is going to ultimately pay attention to and listen to. So in that way, I think it's a disservice to accuracy and fact finding. And January 6th has become like basically the ultimate crystallization of how we're doing this on both sides. Um, it's not both sidesism to say because it's become this like weird tit for tat just on the congressional level with the committees. So then the reason you end up getting Ilhan Omar booted from her committee and other people booted from their committee is because partially Republicans, House Republicans, have talked to Kevin McCarthy about this, hate the way that Nancy Pelosi treated them after January 6th. And so now they're getting into this back and forth. And then giving the, the tapes to Tucker after the January 6th committee was so selective about the information that it released, it's again just the tit for tat. And you can see how it all comes together in January 6th as like the best shining example of how ridiculous our politics are right now. Yeah, I think that's well said. Hey guys, ready or not, 2024 is fully upon us now. And Sagar and I have been brainstorming ways that we can really up our game for this critical election. Yeah, we rely on our premium subs to expand our coverage, to add staff, to upgrade the studio. We just want to give you the best independent coverage of this election, which is possible. So if you can help us out, become a premium subscriber today, breakingpoints.com, or the link is down here in the description video. It really means the world to us. And if you like what we're all about, this is the best possible way to keep us 100% independent, working only for you.